You have an app with SSO capabilities. What more can you do to transform your app into an enterprise-ready powerhouse with Okta? I'm Simona, a developer advocate here at Okta, and I want to let you know that today's enterprises face critical identity management challenges that directly impact their operations. This includes rapid business growth that doesn't scale with their user management capabilities, administrative chaos caused by scattered user accounts, access free for all, meaning everybody has admin access to resources, manual provisioning, slowing down productivity, and let's not forget security vulnerabilities that come with inconsistent deprovisioning of users when they leave the company. So this is where you come in as a partner. And by integrating with Okta, you can, through System for Cross-Domain Identity Management, SKIM, you can now offer your enterprise customers a solution to address these pain points head on. So why is Skim a gateway to your enterprise success? Well, it helps facilitate real-time user synchronization, which means your customers have updates on who is joining, leaving, and moving within the company. Automated lifecycle management, which means eliminating that manual user management process, enhanced security controls, giving your enterprise customers precise control on who has access and permissions, standard-based integration, which means your integration is consistent and reliable, and reduced operational complexity, which means saving your customers' identity management costs and overhead. So once you have a SKIM compliant integration with Okta, we invite you to join the Okta Integration Network. Here you can unlock potential growth by tapping into Okta's massive customer base of 18,000 plus organizations. You'd be able to fast track your enterprise deals with your pre-built integration, reduce sales friction with your verified enterprise ready status, and that's not all. You'd be able to differentiate your offerings with premium security features. In this video, we'll walk through submitting a skim integration to the OIN. Part of the submission journey is to plan, meaning I've read the Okta documentation to see that I've built a skim server, not only with CRUD capabilities, but also that's both skim spec and Okta compliant. I'll be demoing the submission process using the skim server that I've built from the Enterprise Ready Workshop blog that I've written, which I'll link in the show notes. And with that said, the OIN wizard is the submission interface that takes three requirements for a successful skim integration. You'll first need run scope test links, which confirm that your skim server is both Okta and spec compliant. You'll need manual Okta skim integration tests, which confirm that the admin functionalities from Okta down to your skim server work as expected. You can read more about these tests in the Okta documentation if needed. And lastly, you'll need a provisioning enabled instance and confirmation, which confirms that Okta is authorized and can successfully make requests to your skim server. So to get started in the submission process, you'll first need to sign up for a free developer account. But to do that, you'll go to developer.octa.com slash sign up and choose the free for a developer edition. You can use your work email to sign up for an account. And once that's verified, you'll go to your admin dashboard and to navigate to the OIN wizard, you'll go to applications and down to your OIN integrations tab. And from here, you'll click on the build new OIN integration button. And since we're submitting a skim integration, we'll choose the supported protocol skim 2.0. And if you have qu any questions on how to set this up or the submission process, you can go to the step-by-step -step guide linked up here, or you can contact our developer support team at developers at Okta.com. So we'll go ahead and continue with the configuration process. From here, we'll set up the catalog properties that will be showcased to your customers. Let's pretend I'm an ISV and I have a to-do app under the fictional company called StreamYard, and I'm selling a to-do app to record labels to manage their day-to-day -day tasks. On top of SSO capabilities, I also want my customers to be able to manage their users who use my to-do app. So I'll add a display name for my customers to find me in the Okta OIN catalog as well as a short description letting my customers know that I also support Skim. I'll also add or upload my company logo, as well as tick mark any of these use cases that apply to me. Since this is optional, I'm going to skip this for now. 
integration variables, I don't have any in my skim URL that will be dynamic per tenant, so I'm going to skip that for now. The base URL to my skim server for Okta to be able to make requests, I'm going to add that here. And I want Okta to manage my user objects and to authenticate using their auth. The operations that are available to my customers will be create, read, update, deactivate. I'm going to um, skip change passwords for now. I don't want to send passwords from Okta to my server. And since Okta defaults to put requests, I also want to let the OIN apps team know that I also support patch and would prefer that they make uh, calls using patch instead. I'm going to leave the group operations unmarked for now as, as I don't support that in my server. And then since this is just a fictional company, I'm going to add instead of the configuration guide, just my a link to my workshop. But this is where you would add the customer facing instructions uh, to configure your integration with Okta. So with that, we can move forward. Part of the submission process is for an OIN analyst to perform QA tests on your integration. So I'm going to provide an admin account to my StreamYard app for testing. Part of it is to provide a support contact to receive OIN review updates from our analyst. So I'm going to provide a, another account for that. And then testing instructions. I don't have any specific instructions to include here. I'm going to go ahead and skip this for now. So now we're ready to generate a provisioning instance. I'll keep my application label. And from here, this is an instance of the provisioning app that will test by sending a request from Okta down to my server. So under the provisioning tab, I'll go to configure API integration. Here, I'm going to give Okta the permission to make requests and authorizing making requests to my server. It was able to do so, and I can double check from my server. I see that Okta has made a request and Okta Skim Client has made a request. By the way, I'm using code spaces to virtually run my Skim server and making it publicly available. So once I have that, I'll go ahead and save. From here, as I marked in my provisioning application, I provide the ability to create users, update users, and deactivate users. So I'll go ahead and save that. So if you have any custom attributes that you want to add, this is where you would add them. So you would go to Profile Editor, and then under Mappings, you would create custom attributes and map them from Okta to your server. For now, you can only make requests from Okta downstream and not from your server to Okta. So make sure you're on the Okta user to StreamYard to do app or your app in your case, and then save your attributes. So again, you'd add your custom attributes here and then you'd map them under this setting. So we're good there. We'll go back to OIN Wizard. And I confirmed that an instance was detected. Okta is able to make requests down to my server. That's all good. The next thing we'll need is to add our RunScope spec test results. Again, RunScope is a free under trial API monitoring tool. You'll need to provide two tests. The spec test confirming that you're compliant with the skim protocol and then the CRUD test confirming you're compliant with Okta's implementation of the protocol. And then we'll go ahead and submit the RunScope links. We get a green check mark confirming that the test links are valid. And the last thing we'll need to do is check out the manual test cases. And this you'll find in the Okta documentation. You'll get the skim test plan and that would download into an Excel sheet. And you would then 
go through the following tests to make sure that the functionalities uh, that the admin on your provisioning app would be able to do successfully. So that mean, meaning they can add users, they can add groups, they can add the necessary attributes and all that functionality is working. So as soon as you confirm all the functionalities that apply to you, you'll go back to the OIN wizard and certify that you have successfully completed the required tests, and then you'll be able to submit your integration. So from here, you'd be able to view your submission, and right now it's under review. And so our app analyst will take some time to give you feedback if necessary, and then you can see the status of your application on this dashboard. And that's it. So to recap, you can accelerate your growth by partnering with Okta to expedite your time to market, reach more customers through the Okta integration network, meet stringent enterprise security standards, all the while delivering exceptional user experience at scale. If you want to learn more about secure identity integrations, you can visit our SaaS security page or integrator help hub, which I'll link in the show notes. If you're interested in building an SSO app or skim server or workflows and Terraform integration, we also have resources on that, which I'll link in the show notes. If you want to see more content like this, you can follow us on X or YouTube at OctaDev. And if you have any questions, we're here to help. You can reach out to us at the OctaDev forum or via wic-dev-advocacy at octa.com email. Thank you.